Hey YouTube, it's Matt with Olympus Reptiles. Today is another clutch update video. This is clutch update number four. So what was a pairing, let's start there. It was a champagne female that we thought might be possible calico because of a ringer and a pairing. We didn't prove out the calico though and sometimes that's gonna happen. And she was bred to our pastel lesser male. All right, I can actually show you mom. Well, I won't, I'll let her be. She was looking like she's going to shed. So let me show you the babies. 190401. This was the only straight uh, just champagne we got out of there. But a really cool looking baby. I like champagne. You can see, like its mom, it does have a ringer. This one is not quite a full ringer, but a small line there and a lot more of a line there. Really cool, a little bit of white. So just a really neat snake in general. Got a little bit of flecking in it. Uh, nice line, almost solid through there. A few breaks there and there. But a really cool looking champagne. Now, Kurt, tell me your feelings on champagne. Usually he says, looks like somebody rolled it in mud. Uh, so this is not a gene that everybody's going to be a fan of. I think champagne's kind of a love it or hate it. I love champagne. Kurt's kind of lukewarm to it at the best. And that's okay. It's not going to be for everybody. But I think this is a really cool little snake. And it is a little male. And its number is 190401. Get in there, little buddy. Get in there. No, get in there. 190402 is a little normal. So this is a little guy here. This is also a little male, and this is just your traditional snake. I mean, this is what ball pythons are made to look like. So if you go to Africa and find one in the hole, this is what you're probably going to be finding. You know, it's not all morphs despite what people would have you believe. There are still normals out there in the world today. We then have another male. This is a little lesser, 190403. Uh, classic example of a lesser, just... I think lessers are a great bang for your buck, single gene snake. One, you can make bells with them. Two, it goes good with everything if you want to breed. If you're just looking for that pet animal, it looks vastly different from a normal. It has a really cool look to it. There is none of the stigmas attached to a straight lesser that there are some other genes. So it's just a really neat animal. Still has pattern. Require no special care other than just a normal ball python would. But lessers are really awesome genetic. Put that back in there. Then we get to 190404, and this one is a really little angry pastel. Oh, you're going to behave now. Look at that. Sometimes you do. So this is just a pastel male, just a traditional pastel, as you can see. Much lighter colors than a normal. Got some of that orange in the side. Uh, funky pattern. It's kind of a cool little snake, but, you know, if you've seen a pastels, <laughs> that's what this is. Pretty simple. And it's also a male. We were very, very male heavy on this clutch. And you will have clutches like that from time to time. Uh, but the next two are females. And the first one, this is a combo I really like. I love the first one I made. And I've loved them ever since. And that is Pastel Lesser. The, the two genes just work together so phenomenally well. The colors come out great and gorgeous. Look at how the head looks. It's got just beautiful. And I just love how really light colored that really truly is. Just a really cool snake, aren't you? Yes, you are. So we'll let that thing crawl back in there. Boop. And it is a female. Then we have 190406. Now this one, kind of a wild card. And what I mean is it's kind of a what's in it. We're hoping there's all three genes in here. That would be a pastel, a lesser, and champagne. It could just be lesser champagne, but I think it'd be more yellowy. So what I think will happen to the snake is as it continues to age, it'll get more color, and you can start to see some spotting come in, and it'll start to get some of that, uh, which it already kind of is. So I do think it's going to end up being all three genes, pastel, lesser, and champagne. Uh, I'm going to get to find out because I will be keeping the snake to watch it grow up and see what's going on with it, which I am really excited about. So it's kind of saving the best for last. Look at that thing. And you're probably thinking, yeah, so what? It's another white snake. But it's really not truly white. So you're getting a lot of weird off colors in there. Almost like a, a yellow stripe down the back. And then it almost kind of like a hazy purple color there. That doesn't show up as much on the other side. And I can almost make out a little bit of pattern right through here. And as it ages, more and more colors I think will come out. So this is not going to end up being just another white snake. That's why I'm so excited. So we'll go ahead and let this one slide back in there. Come on, buddy. 
There you go, little girly. And guys, that is it. That is all we got. That was a, one of our smaller clutches. We've had a handful of really big clutches, a handful of really small clutches, but that is clutch number four. And uh, that's all she wrote. Our next update will be clutch number five, which will be a bunch of GHI. We'll see you guys next week.